food we tend to eat until we're full and we also eat it um, because it tastes good when we might not always need it and that's because we can store it as fat. Uh, well medicinal plants are different. They're generally not taken as food um, and essential oils because they have no metabolic value at all are never selected as food. And if it smells nice, um, then put a little bit on your finger, like this, and, and dab some on your tongue. If it's sweet, keep on going. And then maybe after four licks, it will change and it will go better. Maybe after a teaspoon, it will change and go better. And maybe just one lick, ah, and that, that's enough. Okay, and that's how your animal is working too, when you're offering the essential oil bottles. Nice, 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 done. Now, in several hours, the licorice root might taste nice again, and that's your dose, or it might not, and it might taste nice tomorrow instead, and that's when you'll need more, or maybe it's done its job. So it's really difficult um, to, to say what a dose is because we all have individual needs. If you smell it and you don't like it then don't take it, it's not for you. So um, so say you don't like the licorice root, maybe you have devil's claw and you smell it and some people are like, oh no that's horrible and other people oh my god it's like chocolate and it's usually the ones who have some kind of back pain or muscular pain that really like it. So they dab it uh, on their tongue until they've had their dose. Okay, and as I said, dosage can change every day depending on our internal state. So that's the difference between food and medicine.